Blue Apron, another one, another true Blue Apron review with Wade Randolph. Here, man. Okay, guys, what are we gonna call these cheeseburgers? Donnie, how about cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers, I like it. Hmm. Is there anything we could add? Pimento cheeseburgers? That's good, but we all know you have to have at least three words in every Blue Apron title. What do you got? Crispy pimento burgers? We use crispy a lot. Yeah, we use it a lot. That's why we shouldn't say that. What else? Dry pimento cheeseburgers. Dry pimento. Well, that's enough words, but I don't... Dry doesn't sound very good. Oh, how about fresh? Fresh. I like it. Fresh pimento cheeseburgers. Split screen. Thanks, Rip uh, Taylor. Let's talk about prep, baby. Let's talk about... Fuck you. Prep was... A lot of grating, you had carrots you had to grate, a lot of cheese you had to grate. They substituted my carrots without telling me. They were these round carrots, which made it harder to shred. I, I should be saying shred, I guess. Uh, you know, I've got all the tools for shredding and grating, and I got so many options for that. So, prep, you know, five out of five, why not? Cook it, cook, cooking, cooking. Cooking was super simple. Five out of five. All right, taste is where we're going to slow down a little bit. So there's two things in this dish. There's the fresh cheeseburger. It's not an old stale cheeseburger. It's fresh. And then there's collard green and carrot slaw. Oh, I, you know, I got to tell you this. They forgot to give me this pepper. I don't know what kind of pepper because I didn't get it. Let me see. Two ounces of sweet picante peppers. They didn't give those to me. So I, I complained and they gave me 10 bucks. So that's good. But I don't know. Without the, without the peppers, and I, it just tasted like a cheeseburger. And I'm not a huge pimento fan. Yeah, I think pimento reminds me of olives. Um, and I'm not a huge olive guy. Unless they're in a martini, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck. So really the collard greens and carrots outshine the cheeseburger. Which is a goddamn travesty. Two stars. Reheatability. Um, ah. I, here's what I did. I got a paper towel. I got it wet. I wrapped the burger in it. And then I heated it for a minute and a half. And it was great. The, you know, the bun wasn't too soggy and uh, it probably tasted better than, than when it was fresh. Fresh for real. The collard greens, I didn't heat up because that sounds disgusting. And they weren't as good as the, as the day before. So, geez, kind of a split decision here. I'll give re reheatability a three out of five. I, I run, run to ya, cause I'm about to break it down. I didn't have the peppers, you know? And I, I won $10 out of not having the peppers, but. Cat fight. Uh, sexy. <laughs> so overall, you, you know, Blue Apron, you could have gotten a better score if you, if you would have packaged the, the peppers. Package the peppers. Peter packaged the peppers. What is fucking wrong with me? Overall... Two. Utah, two. What you wanna do, ya? Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't have any sponsors anymore. If you wanna sponsor me, um, you know, you know where to find me. Doing this redundant show. I have nothing new to say. Thank <laughs> you.